Hi everyone, I am Derek, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about technical analysis. Before financial data or financial statements were required to be disclosed, investors could only watch the stock market itself to determine buy or sell decisions. Information obtained from the financial statements, such as the income statements and balance sheets are called the fundamentals. But fundamental factors are not always reflected in the market price. That's why investors began keeping charts of stock market movements to look for patterns or formations that indicated whether to buy or sell. Some people even looked for the equation or formula of stock market movements. As such, technical analysis is the study of the various forces at work in the marketplace and their effect on stock prices. In other words, technical analysis seeks to predict price movements by examining historical data, mainly price and volume. Next, let's compare between technical analysis and fundamental analysis. Technical analysis. This approach involves analyzing historical market data, primarily price and volume, to predict future price movements. It focuses on charts, patterns, and technical indicators. Technical analysts believe that market sentiment and historical data can provide valuable insights into future price trends. Fundamental analysis. This approach involves evaluating a security's intrinsic value by examining financial statements, economic indicators, and company performance. Fundamental analysts believe that the true value of an asset can be determined by assessing its underlying fundamentals, such as earnings, dividends, and growth prospects. So who is right? There is an ongoing debate in the world of finance about which approach is more effective. Some argue that technical analysis can be a valuable tool for short-term trading and identifying trends, while others believe that fundamental analysis provides a more robust and long-term perspective. Over time, there has been a growing consensus that markets may not be perfectly efficient, as suggested by the efficient market hypothesis. While markets may not be perfectly efficient, they are considered reasonably efficient, meaning that prices generally reflect available information. The choice between technical and fundamental analysis ultimately depends on the individual investor's preferences, investment goals, and time horizon. Some investors may find value in using a combination of both approaches to make well-informed decisions. It's essential for investors to determine which approach aligns best with their investing strategies and objectives. Chart formations are used in the practice of technical analysis in which the traders attempt to predict future movements of stock price by studying the past changes in price and volume. The idea is that patterns in historical data may repeat or signal future trends. Technical analysts search for specific chart patterns or formations that have historically indicated whether stocks are likely to rise or fall in value. These patterns can serve as signals for traders and investors to make buy or sell decisions. Examples of chart formations include head and shoulders, double tops, and cup and handle patterns. Resistance level is a price level at which a stock has historically had difficulty moving beyond. When a stock price breaks through this resistance level, it can be seen as a buy signal by technical analysts. This breakout may suggest that there is strong upward momentum, potentially leading to further price increases. Support level is a price level at which a stock has historically found buying interest and tended to bounce back from declines. When a stock price breaks through this support level and falls below it, it can be viewed as a sell signal. This breakdown may indicate weakening support and potential further price declines. The following are some other market technical indicators. First, market volume. Market volume is a pure supply and demand analysis for common stocks. It refers to the total number of shares traded in the stock market within a specific time period. A strong market typically corresponds with rising trading volume as it indicates robust demand and active trading. Conversely, a weak market is characterized by decreasing trading volume, which may signify reduced interest and market uncertainty. Another indicator is the breadth of the market. The breadth of the market assesses the overall health of the stock market by looking at the number of stock prices that go up, advances, versus number of stock prices that go down, declines. 
In a strong market, advances outnumber declines, indicating that a wide range of stocks is performing well, reflecting overall market strength. Conversely, in a weak market, declines outnumber advances, suggesting that a significant portion of stocks is underperforming, reflecting overall market weakness. Next, bar charts. Daily share price will be going up and down for every moment. Let's look at the price bar. The top of the price bar represents the highest price. The bottom of the price bar is the lowest price, while the dot on the price bar is the closing price for the day. By drawing the price bars for a period of time, we will get a bar chart. A bar chart shows the changes in stock price over a period of time. Bar chart is often used to compare the current stock price with the moving average. When current price goes above or below a moving average, it indicates a significant price change. What is moving average? Moving average tracks stock price as an average value over time. It is used to smooth out daily fluctuations and focus on underlying trends. It is usually calculated over periods ranging from 10 to 200 days. Moving averages are versatile tools that can be used for analyzing both the overall market and individual stocks. It can also be used specifically to detect both the direction and rate of change. New value for moving average can be calculated by dropping earliest and adding latest observation to the average. Based on the moving average value, comparison to current market prices produces buy or sell signal. Let's take an example. The blue color line in this graph is a 100-day moving average line. To calculate the moving average on the 100th day, we include the stock prices from day 1 to day 100. For the moving average on 101st day, we include stock prices from day 2 to day 101. Then, plot all the moving average points on the graph, we'll get the moving average line. On the moving average line, the first intersection point of the stock price bar and the moving average line provides a sell signal. This is because, to the left of the intersection point, stock prices are all above the moving average, whilst to the right of the intersection point, stock prices are all below the moving average. So at the intersection point, investors should sell the stocks to avoid losses in the future. However, the second intersection point provides a buy signal. To the left of the intersection point, stock prices are all below the moving average, whilst to the right of the intersection point, stock prices are all above the moving average. So at the intersection point, investors should buy the stocks, as stock prices will move up in the future. This is a simple illustration on how we can use moving average to make buy or sell decision. Another indicator is Relative Strength Index, RSI. This is to measure the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions in the stock price. It is in fact the ratio of price to index or past average price over some period. Ratios are plotted to form graph of relative price across time. Rising ratio indicates relative strength, while falling ratio indicates relative weakness. If RSI is below 30% level, it provides a buy signal to the investors, which means the stocks are oversold and it is cheap now. Investors should buy when price is low. However, if the RSI is above 70%, it is a sell signal to the investors. Most likely, the stocks are overbought and it is too expensive now. Investors should sell the stocks as the stock price may fall in the future.